What's happening guys, this is James Blom from MMOHuts.com with a quick weekly recap for MMO news and announcements for the week ending October 14th, 2013. Now there's not a lot of news this week, but guys stick around because we've got another cool giveaway towards the end of the video. But our first piece of news of this week has to do with the new digital expansion for Star Wars The Old Republic. The Galactic Starfighter expansion allows players to take their battle into space in 12v12 free flight dogfighting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Players will be able to customize their own unique starfighter while unlocking plenty of available weapons, powers, and abilities. Plus, you'll be able to master various ship roles from scout to gunship. There are multiple battle zones and gameplay modes available, and players will be able to fight to gain additional XP that gives their ground game characters a boost. The update is free to everyone with early access to subscribers starting first in early December. However, preferred and free-to-play access begins in January and February of next year. Next up, Tactical Intervention officially launched last week after being in several months of open beta. During and since the open beta, four major updates have been introduced and now that the launch is complete, players will have access to two new maps as well as new weapons and gear. Plenty more content is in the works for the game, but as for now, the game is available to everyone at the free-to-play section on Steam. The Academic made her debut in Dragon Nest Europe last week as the latest playable class. The Academic is a little girl from 50 years in the future where the evil red dragon has turned the world into a wasteland. That's a bummer. Along with her robotic butler Alfredo, the Academic works to save the world from certain doom. Her first job specialization as the engineer allows her to overwhelm her enemies with mechanical constructs and explosive power summoning bots and turrets to deal independent attacks. And her second job advancement transforms her into the perfect alchemist, capable of summoning slimes dealing elemental and poison AoE attacks on her foes. But her ability to heal her teammates makes her the perfect partner in dungeons. On a similar note, the latest hack and slash MMO, Hero of the Obelisk, started its closed beta last Thursday, and the keys have been flying from our giveaway like crazy. Hero of the Obelisk features three non-gender specific classes with a total of 18 different specializations, each with their own unique weapons and play styles. As is, the game has nearly 100 different dungeons and a variety of co-op and solo PvP modes, including Siege Warfare. To kick off the closed beta test, GBE Games is hosting a variety of in-game events, complete with real-world prizes. The top five players who win the most PvP battles in closed beta win a Razer Naga gaming mouse, reach level 30 and get $20 worth of in-game cash along with several other cool prizes. Unfortunately, the beta keys are a little bit scarce. But keep an eye out at the giveaway section at MMOHuts.com this week as we'll be sure to add more as we get them in. Well, there may not be very much news this past week, but of what there is, it's all about MOBA games, starting with Infinite Crisis. Warner Brothers and Turbine released the third behind-the-scenes video last week discussing why they feel the destruction of nearly everything in the map is important. They have a big impact on the map. They are things that cause you to rethink your strategy at a certain point. Whole parts of the map uh, might become impassable. Your routes that are really fast before are now, you have to take a, a longer route around. You want to have some say over how that's happening. You want to drop that rock on your enemy's base and not have them do the same to you. But that's not the only thing they've been talking about lately. The development team is currently working on the first iteration of the amplifier sets system. Set up in two different segments, amplifier sets could mean augments, or could be mods. Augments improve the champion's stats in one of two ways, flat or scaling. Flat augments provide an early game stat boost, while scaling augments are most beneficial for champions in late game. Mods, on the other hand, are there to enhance artifacts. You're going to be able to add additional attack damage to that, or reduce the amount that it costs at a given tier. When the full system goes live, we're going to have hundreds of augments and mods for you to experiment with. Apparently right now is a popular time for Hi-Rez Studios to release videos for Smite. Over the past week they've released three new videos, one showing off the game's overall features, another is a 2D animated trailer featured at the New York Comic Con, and one is the god reveal for Hell, who just got a pretty big rework. Most notably, the visual makeover gives Hell an all new model, better animations, and effects. Plus, as the only god with two stances, using abilities in one stance no longer places a cooldown on the abilities in the other stance. There's a lot of tweaks to her abilities, but from the gameplay tactics and the spotlight, you can easily see the improvements. Check the link in the description below for the official patch notes. The cyberpunk skin for Naja is actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. League of Legends released an awesome new music video slash champion reveal for Jinx. She kind of reminds me of Baby Doll from Sucker Punch, but if you check out the video, you'll see why she's known as the loose cannon. As a ranged DPS, Jinx tends to get excited from killing other champions or structures, and therefore gains a speed boost shortly after. She can switch between a minigun and a rocket launcher for a variety of ways to deal damage, but her ultimate is a super mega death rocket that detonates on enemy champions and the further they are away, the more damage it deals. 
Jinx herself is just as popular as the music video featuring her, so many players banning her from the start, saying that she's way too powerful. Next up, a hilarious new announcer pack hit Heroes of New Earth last week with the voice of none other than Samuel L. Jackson. And so now that this is out, I can't imagine playing the game with any other voice pack. I mean, listen to it, it's hilarious. It's about damn time a Hellboy barracks has been destroyed. The Hellborn have destroyed a Legion Tower. That was one big ass monkey. Cas ma 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 malingual whatever his name is. That motherfucker's dead. And for our final bit of news this week, as I said in the news recap of a few weeks ago, Games Campus celebrating the second anniversary of its martial arts MMO Nine Dragons. But they're doing things in a huge way, as in huge benefits to you guys. Not only are they giving you guys keys to unlock special in-game goodies, but also a chance at some pretty sweet hardware. Head over to the giveaway section at MMOHuts.com from the link in the description below, pick up a key for the Nine Dragons Anniversary Pack, then post a picture of your in-game character showing off your Anniversary Pack items on the official forum event page to be entered for a chance to win one of these awesome pieces of technology. They are literally giving away thousands of dollars in prizes, so needless to say, they're excited for their second anniversary. The good thing is, there are plenty of keys, so make sure you pick one up. Anyway guys, that's it for this short week of MMO news and announcements. If you're looking for more information about the news featured in the recap, check the links in the description below, then head over to MMOHuts.com news. Feel free to discuss the news in the comments below, or head over to MMOHuts.com forums. And until next time guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there gamers.